I'm sure this isn't the day for me filming, but anyway, what it is. Hello, KL7L here. Rainy Alaska. <coughs> Excuse the cough. So, hello there. Right, so afternoon all or whatever time it is where you are. Um, a project which I've been uh, wanting to do for some time was to get a an aerial a vertical antenna, a monopole if you like, or a Marconi. That is a vertical with uh, some capacity uh, hat on the top up for 475 kilohertz and maybe 137 kilohertz out in the open a bit before all my antennas are sort of secreted in the wood and forest down here which means that half the power or quarter of the power three quarters of the power is being absorbed by the trees this is a, a short antenna reference the frequency of operation running in high impedance which means it's affected for the most part by what's it surrounding and if you're in the middle of the wood a lot of the uh, these trees act like little uh, low loss resistors and capacitors and dump all your wanted rf down back down to ground now, it depends on the season you're in of course if it's uh, the winter all the leaves have gone and the ground's nice and uh, cold it actually can be not too bad but anyway i wanted an antenna that i could use for um the uh, the summer period um so what we have, what I have here, is a 26 meter, that's 85 foot vertical. It's a telescopic mast by Spider Beam. You can just see if I've managed to hide the, the spider beam there. You can't see it. Anyway, it's um, it's up. And uh, this will probably be a couple of parts of a video as we're going to get some rain on the uh, camera and lens, I'm not sure. But uh, this is like stage one of, of, of uh, what I've built to get this up in the air. Um, what they tell you to do is to, um, this is telescopic, lots and lots of sections, is they tell you to lay it on the ground, out, along the ground, out there. And uh, you connect it all up, except for the last four sections. And then you push it up by yourself or with a second person to the vertical. And then um, we're using circlips or connections or terry clips, depending where you go. Uh, you uh, undo a section, release the guy ropes uh, a little bit, and then push up, and then re uh, let the guy ropes up a bit more and push it up a bit more until you get it to its full height. At the moment, I'm just about six feet from the top, and it's. Um, I've uh, managed to get this up by myself. Uh, I built this uh, wooden support frame. These are four by four um, uh, on the ground, in the ground, treated uh, eight foot poles sunk into a concrete base. And uh, the bottom there down here, we've got some uh, four by twos. And these are just uh, backings here to stop the, the mask coming through. The gap is five and a half inches from here to here. And so when I pushed it up from the vertical, from the horizontal, it sort of went into there. And as I pushed it up, it stayed in the, in the frame. And, uh, and, and uh, we got it up to vertical. I did have to keep it in the bottom and for that purposes, I used a uh, one of these rubber elastic straps around the back here to stop it pulling out. And then once I got up to the vertical, I used these uh, these winch straps, these straps here, just to hold it in place. There's not a lot of tension on here, as you can see. It's sort of free to move. Uh, behind here is some rubber uh, strapping to stop it bouncing against the side and the same down the down the bottom um, then I installed uh, guys these are one or five millimeter Dacron polyester or Kevlar well weave Kevlar two to five hundred pound braking strain guy ropes and we have them at three levels 
and at the top level which you can probably can't see in the raindrops is the top hat capacity and there's four 50 foot top cap radials coming down and they're held up away at the moment temporarily using fishing line you don't want to put a lot of weight on the top of this aerial anyway that's stage one i'll talk about the earth radio field and what the heck i've got fencing wire on the ground for in the next video because i'm sure this one is going to be ruined by the rain and got on the lens 73 stand by for part two kl7l and this contraption the spider beam 26 meter telescopic fiberglass mast in all its glory 7-3